Let's design a wood frame braced wall line. We're going to start with the wood shear wall module. And in the wood shear wall module, we can declare the global parameters for our wall. We're going to frame it with spruce pine fir number two. And then we're going to add 6,300 pounds of wind shear, 4,800 pounds of seismic with an STS of 0 0.2. Our braced wall line is going to be nine foot tall. And we're going to use two by fours at 16 on center as our studs. We're going to switch our sheathing type from structural one to regular sheathing, and we'll keep that blocked and single sided. So now we've got our global parameter set. We want to double click on our wall and plan, and that'll take us to the stud wall module. And we're going to want to switch our wall length from 25 foot to 16 foot. We'll stay consistent with spruce pine fir. And then we want to click on this default window opening, and in the dialog box that pops up, we're going to hit delete and get rid of that opening. In the default door, we're going to click on it, and we're going to call it a walkthrough. And we'll make it 84 inches tall, 72 inches wide, and we're going to start at three and a half feet from the left end of our stud wall. And we're going to try to get away with two two by eights as our header, but I doubt that's going to suffice for the loads, which we'll add here. We're going to add a uniform dead load from above of 140 PLF over the entire length of wall. 560 PLF of live load. We can see those here. That looks correct. So let's hit calculate and see if this passes, and it does not. I'm betting it's this header. So we click on this header. We'll go to the beam module. We can hit calculate and see that no, our header is failing in flexor. So let's switch that to two two by tens. We'll hit calculate and see that it just passes. So let's save that. And when we return to the stud wall module, we'll see, yes, we have a larger header for our opening. And let's hit calculate. Now our stud wall is passing. So if we save this, we can return to the shear wall module. And this looks correct. Let's add some more wall panels to our braced wall line. So we go over here to the right, hit add new stud wall, and we're going to add an 18 inch jog. And then we'll add an eight and a half foot trailing panel to the right side of our wall line. I'm going to leave our jog as is unloaded and double click on this eight and a half foot wall that we've just added. And to it, we're going to add a door opening. We'll call this door one. We'll make it 84 inches tall, 32 inches wide. It starts one foot from the left end of this wall. And we'll try two two by eights as our door header. And we'll add the same loads that we added before. We're going to add a dead load of 140 PLF from above, a live load of 560, and then we'll hit calculate. And yes, this stud wall is passing as well. So we'll hit save and return to the shear wall module. Now we've got two stud walls that are adequately designed in our brace wall line. Let's evaluate this brace wall line for shear. We're going to do that by locking, and then we're going to hit perform a full height segment and analysis, and then we can choose which panels are acting. So we're going to start at the left with the panel to the left of our walkthrough. We're going to end with the third panel on the right that's to the right of our door one. And we'll hit calculate. Now see full details for our evaluation of this braced wall line. We can go up here and print preview our report. We see at the top left that it passes. We've got three segments to our braced wall line. Segments one and two are on this page, and they are to the left and right of the walkthrough opening. Segment one needs 14 gauge nails, six inch edge spacing, 12 inch interior spacing. Segment two needs the same nailing, and both of these are gonna require hold downs at the ends of the segment. Segment one requires a hold down with an uplift capacity of 1,700 pounds. And segment two requires a hold down with an uplift capacity of 2,600 pounds. If we go to the next page, we'll see segment three, which is in our eight and a half foot wall, just to the right of door one, we need the same 14 gauge nails, six inch edge, 12 inch interior spacing. This segment also requires a hold down with an uplift capacity of 2,450. And in green, we've got the unit shear forces in this segment. We've got 269 PLF of shear out of a 400 PLF wind capacity, and we've got 241 PLF of seismic shear out of a capacity of 285. Also provided are deflections for each wall segment, 
and suggestion hold down hardware.